Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to connect your launchpad to your Unipad. So this is going to be pretty easy, easier than connecting your launchpad to your Ableton light, light or whatever it is. So the things you will need are pretty basic. A launchpad, duh. A phone with a Unipad, duh. And a small USB cable that you guys can connect on your phone because you guys will need this later so let's get straight into this video so this video has been um, suggested by my school um, partner named Minziko um, she uh, she said that she's probably going to buy a launch pad um, I don't know what which launch pad she's gonna buy but she said uh, she told me to please make a tutorial video on this and how this works. So I'm just here to make it. So let's open this. First, the thing you will get is this USB cable that you guys can connect your launch pad to any devices you want, including um, this phone. But you guys will need this in a moment. So. This is the USB cable, it's going to be whether um, black or orange. So, mine is orange since I have the mini one. And this thing is like a USB cable that you guys can connect to your laptop, PC, or any devices. This thing is for your launch pad, you guys just connect it to your launch pad and it's going to be done. So let's get this out of the way. Let's focus on the launch pad. So on the launch pad, you guys can see that there's, well, this is pretty basic. So in the back, you guys can see that it says Novation. I don't think you guys can see it because of the light, but it does say Novation. And in the front, you guys can see that there are, um, what is it, 8x8 eight eight buttons. So in total, 64 buttons, I guess. And well, these are made out of, I don't know, a sponge or something. But it's pretty hard to press. By the way, these stickers over here comes from a different one, which is mine I got from um, Kaskobi's website. I'm going to put his website link in the description down below. Anyways, we went to the launch pad. Now let's move on to our phone. So first, let me unlock this phone real quick. By the way, mine is going to be on Korean since I'm living in South Korea. So I'm sorry if you guys are going to be kind of confused on this. Um, wait, an ad will pop up real soon, so I need to just take care of that real quick. Okay, there we go. This is going to be your Unipad when you open it. Mine is on Korean, so sorry, I guess. So, when you open your Unipad, the first thing you want to do is you want to connect this to your launchpad, right? Then go to this plus thing, and then go to the store. And you guys can buy all of these things for free. So, for example, I bought this, um, this Spectre. Now, if you don't have a launchpad, you guys can just play it on your phone but it's not gonna be that you know easy whether um if your phone is big or small because it's to be honest for me playing it on a launch pad is way better because the you know it's in real life not on phone so um this is pretty easy go to this record order thing that you will get and play the autoplay now it would um show these buttons these numbers on how to do this that's enough so now we're going to get on what you guys were really wanting for I'm going to connect this cable, this small one, on in the side. It's whether going to be in the side or in the top, but for mine, 
in mini. It's in the side, so I'm just going to connect this right over here. God, it's not, it's not, it's not connected. Hope I don't break it anytime soon. Um, so now we connected it right over here, as you guys can see. Now, here's where you need this. You guys have to connect this. And then, connect it to your new pad. Now, select your launch pad. Mine is mini. And now, it's connected. Pretty easy, right? Now, um, you guys can just play with it. Sorry, made a, made a mistake again. But this is how I usually record videos. Ableton is like way too complicated and it's pretty hard to do. I'm really confused in that. So, I hope I figure it out real soon. But well, for now, let's play this, as far as I know. Let's hire the volume. Okay, so this is how you're going to play your launch pad. So each button has their own um, sound you can use. So if you want to make a project then it's gonna take a lot of work. So I'm gonna make that tutorial video later on. But for now um, I'm gonna explain what a launch pad is. So a launch pad is like a DJing tool that you can use. This, uh, this can also be used as a keyboard on your computer. Um, I don't know exactly how, but I'm probably going to figure it out real soon. But anyways, a launch pad has these 64 buttons that you can use. And each button has their own sound, well, if you want. So, for example, um, this and this is different. So each button has their own sound. So these things that are lighting up are chains so these are like each pad pages I guess you can see um let me just okay so over here let's say that you press this and in the second one it's different so but over here it's different completely different so these are the pages and these are the buttons for each sounds I hope you get I hope you got that so as you guys can see you guys can now connect your launch pad to your unipad so now you guys will want to um, get another project file other than these store ones so you guys just can Press this plus button and then go to the third one, um, bring a Unipad project. And now um, you should download your own, whether if it's in YouTube or any website, um, download it. And then for example, I want to do it with Shape of Your Liz Remix. Let me try and find it, if I have it. I don't think I have it. Do I have it? Mm, yeah, I think it's this. It might not work. It worked. Okay, so now go to your project file. Let me turn my light on. So, now it loaded. Let's try it. Wait, I need to turn on my...
So, literally, you guys can do it like this if you guys can practice. And, anyways, I think that's it for today's video. I'm gonna do another tutorial video for Ableton, um, which is gonna be pretty hard because I don't really know a lot about Ableton. I usually just use Unipad for my videos. I never use Ableton for videos. But I guess I'm going to try next time in Fearless or something. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys all later. Bye.